Yeah, I just wanted to show you this little uh, SSS editor kind of thing I found this week. Uh, it's really good for getting SAS going really quick without having to compile or anything like that. Um, let's just quickly install it and you'll you'll see. If you head over to usedcanner.com, it's pretty simple uh, on a Mac. Uh, if you don't already have Node or NPM installed, you will need to do that first. Just Google NPM install a package. Uh, after you've done that, come across to your terminal, uh, type in the basic command. It'll grab the package from uh, online, download it straight away for you. While it's doing that, we'll create a little project. Uh, um, sample project. And we'll just save it in a new folder called to kind of test. And we'll name this index. Just drag this into Supply Machine. Create our SAS folder. Now that's all finished uh, downloading our terminal, uh, we just need to run the next command, which is Takana, and then the path to our project, which for me is uh, Linux. So now Takana is listening out on this uh, on this website for us to detect any changes, and the last little step we needed to do was simply put these scripts in the head. There's also a package in Sublime. Uh, if we search for it in our package control, pull uh, Takana, press enter, let it install. Now, if we open this project up in our browser, obviously it's just blank. Let's just put a simple little hello world in there. We'll link up to this style sheet as well. goes it's all running now and we can simply make changes in here and as we're typing straight away we're getting we're seeing the results of our SAS compiling obviously that's pretty basic just changing the font size let's see what uh, we can really do with SAS quickly so let's just make some div in our HTML and come across here do some basic styling just so that we can at least see them so 50 pixels high and wide uh, we'll do a for loop so for our i variable from one through three just make the background darker or something so for each one the nth child uh, let's use that i variable again make the background just darken uh, just darken like a gray color we can use that variable again so times by like 50 we can see over here in the browser we got each div getting gradually darker just as we changed it and then obviously we can make it even darker there you go, so we're darker in this colour and straight away in the browser. Very quick. We can even do a variable if you wanted. So my colour is uh something like that. And then down here, let's use that variable. And we're seeing here we're looping over that variable, making it darker straight away in the browser. We can see that in the background. Pretty cool. So yeah, just head over to usedtocana.com, uh, definitely saved you a lot of time, saved me a lot so far, uh, pretty simple to set up as well, and an easy way to just get into your SAS.